Michelle, congratulations. Another year of strong revenue growth. Would you like to give the Investor News audience an update? Of course, and thank you for having me on this morning. Uh, yeah, three uh, for 2023, uh, $35 million in revenue, which is up from 14.8 last year, uh, a $17 million growth. That's 96% growth. So excellent performance uh, year over year. Our gross profit is up to $6.8 million from 2.8. That's a $4 million increase or 143% increase year over year. So again, uh, gross good performance overall and, and our gross margin has gone up by 24%, which is excellent in, in the process. Understanding a difficult economy, clients cutting budgets in the, in the areas that we are. So the team really worked hard and smart at delivering the numbers this year. Well, speaking of that, I know I spoke to our team and our group of advisors. I said, this company described um, described their success in that particular news release as having a robust and profitable business model. So would you mind sharing with us what that you know, business model is, please? Well, the philosophy we have or the vision uh, is be the best at what you do, never lose focus, be client-centric, be a leader, be relevant, and provide value. So we, we are addressing both health and leverage KPIs to provide returns. Um, this enables us to properly price our products and services. We also minimize overhead costs or expenses, uh, and we invest in tomorrow. So all these initiatives working together uh, do create a unique selling propositions that benefits the business. Well, of course, I'm certain some of you may be going, hmm, are we actually relevant? So I'm gonna have you define what you mean by a company being relevant. And I just want to reinforce that basically Syscom focuses on investing, acquiring, and managing companies in the ICT sector. So if you wouldn't mind taking that a few steps further and explaining it to mm -hmm. us, please. Um, I was referring more to our uh, operating subsidiaries when uh, we say relevant because we live with the revenue of our subsidiary companies. So we need to stay relevant to our clients or our subsidiaries' clients uh, with the right products, the right offering uh, year over year. Uh, when it comes to Syscom, uh, when relevancy is attached to shareholder return and our ability to uh, close acquisitions and, and frankly, yield as much as possible from current uh, owned investment. I think in a news release that I was reviewing uh, over the holidays, you were talking about uh, working on a third acquisition. Can you tell us what's going on with that? I would love to. I just can't. <laughs> we, we're always in discussions with a number of uh, potential acquisitions. That That's our mandate. Um, the our goal is to close one or two acquisitions a year. Uh, so we we we're just we just became public uh, with, with two acquisitions. We're now looking at uh, doing another one for twenty twenty four. But we won't do that at any cost. They have to be the right strategic fit. Uh, we're very discerning in our approach. We adhere to our stringent criteria. Uh, closing the right acquisition is paramount. We do a lot of due diligence, and we want to make sure that it is accretive to Syscom day one and five years from now. You seem to be very good at bringing teams together and managing them, and you recently announced an additional uh, member of management. Would you like to tell us more about that? Yeah, Sherry. Sherry Rogers is joining uh, PNG as EVP Managing Directors. Uh, she has a superb reputation in the market, esteemed or respected by uh, her peers. This, all the staff or the team is very excited of having her joining us. Uh, she has a broad man mandate as EVP uh, MD, uh, looking at further enhancing our products, uh, 
efficiencies throughout the business or process in processes and also new new business so uh client uh, working with clients and accounts to to grow that so um it, it is a key asset as a person joining us uh in our continued growth so what should we expect in q1 for 2024 well, the business is cyclical in the sense that uh, because at this point, uh, the client base of our subsidiaries is uh, uh, mainly retailers at this point in time. So you can appreciate that September forward, this is where uh, most of the income comes from uh, the subsidiaries' point of view. So um, what we're doing is we're looking at how our products and services uh, better fit or continue to evolve to service our clients and their, their changing needs. So we usually take the first quarter or two to, to work with our clients to stay relevant at their level. From a Syscom point of view, our mandate is acquisition. So we need to be looking at our third acquisition and capital raise to help with the closing. I could not be more excited by your ongoing success. Michelle, thank you so much for, for this update. And for more information on Syscom, please go to their website. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Have a great day.